Hi everybody, I'm Tina. This is To The Inner Wild. Actually, not everybody. I mean everybody as in practitioners of love and light. Of course. Okay. Um, excuse me. I, I just got spent eating a chocolate chip cookie. I usually don't have like whole ones and I thought I, I could just, uh, that was a lot of chocolate. <laughs> Poor me. <laughs> Just kidding. Happy new moon to me. Happy new moon to me. Happy new moon. Happy new moon. Happy new moon, Pisces. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> We're using the witch's tarot. Fly on fucking tester. Oh, you know, I, I miss wearing my nude lipstick. So... Let's just do that little thing. Um, see? Fantastic. All right. <clears throat> I got like 10 minutes to figure this one out. So what's the energy I should be focused on right now? Because, like, I have to make like a, like a, a quick turn <laughs> to something else or drive um, straight forward, seriously, on my path. Spirit has told me many a times. And so I just kind of want to see the energy without asking about any in particular um, person, situation, thing. I just want to know, what is it that I should be focused on right this very moment? Because things are moving, things are changing. And even like, I think I'm not supposed to visit anybody's readings now. Like, I think that's from, I mean, like they're like saying, Tina, do what you want, but this is our highest recommendation that you can get any answer that you possibly like could think up to question. You'll get the correct answer. So rely on that. Just practice on it. Believe in it so much so that you are not um that se- you're not second guessing yourself. And and you won't like any gesture like how do I say it? Um, there's going to be, uh, all right, let me time myself. Okay. Um, yeah, like I'm minimizing that room for error. Um, yeah. Yeah. And expediting what's to come. So what is it, spirit? Because you know, um, throwing out a particular topic for this here and now is um, somewhat of a distraction. So I'm going to leave it open-ended to spirit and my angels of light and love. Thank you so very much. What What is it you want to tell me? Just, just me. Just me. So I can share. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> the chariot, moving, moving, moving on out. Oh, this is excellent because this is like a chariot in the sky, you know? That's like castle in the clouds, like dream state. Um, That's from like Phantom of, Phantom, Phantom of the Opera, isn't it? Um, Castle in the clouds? No, Les Miserables. Goodness gracious. Um, yeah, it's, um... <laughs> Yeah, it, it's it's what you always dreamed of, Tina. <laughs> and this is um, these are the force of this chariot is the same as um the one in like Lord of the Rings where um I forget her name, holy crud, it's been a long time, but <laughs> they. She was like, if you want him, come and claim him. And, um, and the seas ended up, um, turning into, um, horses that stomped out all the bad guys. <laughs> That's what that is. Oh, shit. Oh, yep. Yeah, Seven of Swords and Rumors. Like, oh, my freaking goodness. Holy. S- Insane. Stomp them freaking out. And it fell right at the foot of that. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> okay. I, like, I realized what I was saying. Something dropped down there. But, um, 
I didn't realize exactly what I was saying until after it was said. Um, because I was just trying to nail down the picture of it. <clears throat> Five of Cups in reverse. Are you saying goodbye? We said goodbye. And that's excellent. Like, it's on the floor. Like, you know, when you um, get served papers. Bob, that's, that's what, that's what's happening right there. Holy smokes. I'm like, things are on schedule. Hmm. Okay. I can do this. Okay. So, yeah. What just caught caught here is, um, this is good. Seven of Cups and right behind it, Four of Swords in reverse. Um, this is, this is full recovery. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, um, when you've, like, invested in something so much and then you don't really see a return for, like, such a long time. And immediately I thought of, like, the lawyer fees. Like, 20K, over 20K, seriously, in debt. Um, and that's just speaking of the lawyer fees, not all the things that I accumulated because I went out to eat because I had a really, um, um, signs that, um, my ex was, uh, poison, uh, attempted to poison me at one point, um, gosh, um, sometime last year. And so I couldn't run that risk again. Um, and, um, tampering with like all my, um, like toiletries and all of that stuff so anyway like a lot of money in in debt and um and so like it wasn't like all fun and games so like if seers or what do you want to call it um other psychics looking into my world like oh she's you know somebody's really taking care of her or you know it, it looks like she's doing well off or i wonder how much she's getting paid or how she's getting her money well motherfuckers you don't you don't know exactly like the whole story behind it you know it's so anyway enlightened love enlightened love i mean well <laughs> but you know like um so anyway, it, that's what that's what we're looking at, the recovery of um all that's invested, like all that was like self-taught, you know, these lessons. I'm not saying that like I'm going to take complete credit for it, but um the engagement of wanting to learn from um not just errors per se, but like er room for improvement. You know, learning um, how to get better. And and with that, like energetically speaking, you turn the tables and you get to recover um, all of those investments. And, and it brings in so many options. It's like turning oneself to the magician, like one that's in control. Um, not just like what's, you know, um, the blessings that are here, um, but and what's already been bestowed, but also you know, what comes forth, you know, that it's drawing in energetically, um, those, um, those possibilities. So already we have seven here for the, the chariot. We have seven of swords and then we have seven of cups. I mean, within this frequency, it's kind of sprinkled about. So it's like, um, first off we have master number 77. It's prominent with the first two cards in speaking. Master number 77, of course, is a master revolutionary. And, um, that's excellent. So, um, this is not just like recuperating, but like also the recovery. This is, um, the recoil. Hmm. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, I think that one was supposed to be, yep, hangman. So looking at things objectively, like, this puts us in um, prime, mm, like, this gives us, like, the ability to, um, like, reserving our energy because we're not as, um, like, we're not in direct exchange with um, the world, but we're we're also... We're still receptive to what's going on. This is um, a huge way maker when it comes to like landing us here. So they're saying like continue this. Um, you can see the huge benefit in being your own person, being an independent thinker. And regardless of how that looks on the outskirts, um, it's all good. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anything else? 
I mean, what I'm getting is like, this is also the inversion table. Um, when you're looking at divinity, um, inverted, like on an inverted plane and like turning the tables, that's basically what it's saying. And this is the first time that I've received it. And you know, in inversion tables, they help, you know, with your spine alignment, um, and the comfort in adjusting that, especially if there's like back problems that you have. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, like it loosens, um, I guess, um, lightens the impact of, um, of, uh, of gravity, you know, how heavy things can be, um, just standing on your own two feet. Um, yeah. Okay. And that, oh, justice. Things are balancing out. They, not balancing out. Things are like effective immediately balanced out you know this is going to come to us in well at least to me um in um, many forms it's just um getting like notification after notification after notification things are they're going to show me that they're all balanced out everything has been weighed when it comes to like calculating remember in you know previous months we've talked about when i used to do the dice um uh it's 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 showing me that like um you know as far as um karma being calculated everything's been calculated you know the votes have been weighed in um they're the only thing that like how do i say it like the final ballots are in when it comes to the spiritual realm you know what that means you know what the next step means it's like my, 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 it's a little mute, but it's instantaneous, effective. Our methods have been effective. And again, we see Archangel Michael Hill here with a red and green robing here. We're embodying the spirit, the fight, the fighter, um, warrior stance of Archangel Michael. Like we've been gifted the robes. Like, oh, you know, you're one of us here. <laughs> Okay. And I get the vibe of the high priestess here because we have the purple um, banner in the back. Highly intuitive. Okay. So inverted, we have the strength card. Okay, it opened up to the two of wands. Okay. So there's still like um, discovery, self-discovery, um, and um, explore exploration on the outskirts. And we saw this in, I think, Master Number 55. I think is a master explorer. Uh, I think so. Anyway, um, we have the strength card and the queen of wands inverted. I'm um, turning towards that. So we have a strong hand and, um, we are very well known in who we are. Um, and this goes with like, you know, this isn't other people knowing this before us. Like, the the wonderful thing about this is that we're acknowledging this before like self-validating so um that's what's different about this phase in our lives um that once we can do that it's like the next step is just like expanding upon that so um that's why we're looking at other opportunities like what else is out there and what else can i do um because we know we're already banging at what we do and um you know, like a lot of, <laughs> because we are so brutally honest with what we do, a lot of people prefer to say face when it comes to interactions, um, you know, one-to-one, -one, especially if they've gotten to know us, um, in person. So bottom of the deck, I have to go and like check on the stuff, nine of swords. So what keeps us up at night? Well, I, don't, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, okay. So it's, um, It's putting some extra thought, kind of like a little bit on overtime, um, on our standards. And I think the, the message behind this is like, um, it's valid when it comes to, um, our personal rules and guidelines, um, um, setting the standard for ourselves, not so that we can set that for others, um, 
Mm, but like what what we will not just tolerate in communications but what we expect out of people because we have high standards for ourselves so if if we're going to really engage in this like thought provoking form um let it be that and this is valid um however um you know they they're saying like to take he like don't don't let it stress you out okay so what's this four of cups um yeah because um this can is that a warning possibly eliminate us from other um how do i say it turning down a lot of options you know um that um are used as um way makers to other possibilities so like definitely don't stress out about it but like we can cut um okay so we can take spirit's cup like okay i'm told i can go ahead and turn it upside down and then cut the deck okay oh he's the swords that's the truth that's the truth on the foods okay so where were we here okay well anyway you saw that so give me a second okay